All right, this is the intro for Bitch, um, which Clint actually starts. Um, I played it on this just for, you know, to make it a little easier and a little more straightforward. This is also our chorus. Um, there's no difference between any of the patterns on the intro or the chorus other than the very end of the pattern. It changes on just the intro bit. We, we do this little half step uh, move. Um, up to speed would go like this. That's our half step there. Um, slowly, that all would go.
So the only difference on the chorus pattern and that is we would end on this note before we go back into the riff. We don't do the little half step drop. Um, the verse riff up to, uh, up to speed is basically just these two, uh, these two frets, uh, the second and the third fret, and we toggle between the E string and the A string. Um, riff up to speed goes. Slowly, that would all go. Actually, I need to take a step back because I forgot this is one of those weird ones that has the extra part. Um, there is one part that um, I don't even know what we'll, we'll call this. I guess we'll call this the, uh, <laughs> the pre-intro uh, riff. Um, it happens a couple times in the song. This is back in the day um, when we, on our first record, we didn't really, uh, we hadn't kind of refined what a formula to a 7 dust song was where it would be, you know, most of our, our stuff has some kind of an intro. It'll have a verse, bridge, and then chorus, and then kind of repeat those patterns. Um, these, we had extra parts, so this is pre-verse riff um, coming out of the chorus intro riff at speed would go like this. <laughs> Slowly, that would all go. Basically, the arrangement of this song is a little weird. There's a whole lot of stuff that happens before the first chorus. I'm like, we, we did the same thing with Black um, as well, where there's, uh, you know, back in the, the early days of Seven Dust, we didn't care whether it took us a minute and a half or two minutes to get to the first chorus of the song. Um, coming out of the verse. <laughs> We go into which is basically the riff that comes out of the intro before the verse. Um, so that riff actually kind of bookends the verse. It's, it starts the verse off and then it comes in right after the verse and we go back into verse riff again. So the first verse is actually kind of, um, it's kind of like a verse one, part A, and then part B with this riff in the middle. Before we actually get to a chorus. Um, because we come out of this riff. which we go straight into the chorus. So it's a little confusing from a, um, a structural standpoint of how, you know, what part is what. There's just a lot of information before we hit the first chorus. Um, being that the intro is kind of chorus, we kind of give a chorus for nothing at the beginning of the song. 
So we didn't mind that it, it took a little longer to get to the actual first chorus of the song. Um, coming out of the first chorus, the singing chorus, um, comes into one of two parts that I guess for all intents and purposes will be kind of our middle eight. Um, the first part up to speed goes slowly that would go And then we go into the second part of the middle eight, which is basically a play on the verse. Um, same two frets, second and third fret. Um, instead of doing the normal verse pattern, we do this pattern. For the tag on this part. Slowly, that part would go. And then we're back into the verse riff again, which would be sort of um, sort of a third verse. Um, back in the day we had the, we always did kind of a revisited verse thing further on down towards the end. That verse riff again, out of that, then we're into the final chorus of the song, which the final chorus of the song is basically exactly like the rest of it. Um, we start broken down. through that twice and on the double we go to an over uh, like a double time Morgan goes into double time drums and we're loud which is the exact same chord pattern as the chorus, we're just strumming all the way through. Out of that, we go into our middle eight tag again, um, slightly modified version of it. The first two times does the same pattern, and the second two times just does a slide from the third fret up to the fifth fret. So up to speed, it would go. Slowly, that would go. And then the outro of the song is basically exactly the first riff. Um, the verse riff. Out 
that's the thing is like back back when we were doing this stuff um, you know we didn't we really hadn't refined the form of what we were doing so we always had these extra little parts and I even remember in the studio you know JJ and Denny you know asking you know well, what is that what are we calling that because we didn't have the structural part of it down so we were just kind of like you know whatever we felt like going to um, you know very toolish let's just go to another little thing here and throw a little tag or whatever um, so a lot of the same related parts and the same related shapes um, chord wise and everything but just slight little differences as we go through the song.